Hi guys, welcome to my Genshin Impact video. So this is my first Genshin Impact video, I hope you guys enjoy it. Going forward, if I find interesting stuff to cover, I certainly will do. Um, but yeah, this is my Lisa as a healer build, guide, information video, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. So I can, you are probably already thinking, Lisa isn't a healer, so that's not going to work. Well, let, let, let's test it, let, let's find out. Um, so we all know that Lisa is the best character in the game, and we can all agree on that. So if Lisa says she's a healer, you know we, we should we should believe that, right? So let's uh, let's see how that works out in practice and if it's effective. Um, so yeah, let's take some damage here. Okay, we'll take take a bit of damage, and then we're going to use Lisa to heal up. Okay, so Lisa's ult, and you can see Razor is now healing for 495 per tick. Which is pretty cool, and um, yeah. So let's let's exit exit here and, and see what's going on. So some of you have probably already guessed we how we're doing this. We're healing by using the prototype malice. It's an orb or a book or whatever weapons we made you use catalyst, which is made from the blacksmith. So it's a weapon that you could match refine eventually. Uh, might be difficult to do so, but that's how it's how you get it if you wanted to try this. Okay, as you can see here, it restores 4.5% health every 2 seconds for 6 seconds as well as giving you energy which is fantastic okay and I'm gonna now you've seen the, the healing of it just on its own I'm gonna now equip some healing gear to see if we can increase the effectiveness of it um, there's two ways to do this the first way is healing effectiveness or healing bonus they're the same thing as far as I can tell they will increase the heals it gives by the percentage of your bonus. So if it's a 50% bonus and you're healing 100, you will now heal 150. So that's how that works. The other way to increase it is with the Maiden 4 piece set. That increases the healing received by 20%. Now the healing received is calculated on the final healing figure. So if you're healing 1000 after your bonuses, and you get that 20% bonus, the healing received bonus of the 4 piece, you'll heal 1200. So it actually increases the effectiveness of it quite a lot because the more healing you do from healing and healing bonuses, the more bonus you're getting from the four piece set. So they work really well in conjunction with each other. That's how that's how this works. So as you can see here, um, if we jump back into this fight and and take some damage, let's see how much we heal. Well, we're going to heal for 495 plus 41.8 percent, which should be around 703. And as you should be able to see, my maths is terrible, but on this occasion it's worked out. We're healing for 703, so happy days. So I will uh, just recap that as best I can. I'm not the best at explaining this stuff, but I'll try. So <clears throat> I'll get the weapon on screen as well so you can see it for context. So to recap, 495 is the base healing, and that's 4.5% of Razor's health. Razor has 11,020 health, so if you want to check that you can. In total, that's 13.5% of his total health bar healed per ultimate, which isn't that much. But if you use the healing gear, um, and you can probably get better healing gear than I have, it'll heal 6.38% per tick, because that's how much 703 is as a percentage. And that's 19.1% of a health bar. So now you're healing like nearly 20% of a health bar per ult. So that's pretty good. Okay. If you were to use the four piece set, you would get an additional 20% on top of that. That would actually work out to be about 7.6% per tick because you'd get an extra 140 from the, um, the, the, the set. If you want to check that by adding the 20%, um, as well as the as the final healing of 703, that's basically you're looking at 7.6% per tick, which is 22.8%. So that's pretty cool. If you were to manage to max refine the relic, the relic would heal 6% per tick at base, which is 661. To add the healing bonus of that, you would have to add 276, because that's the... Um, that's the, the the bonus from the healing healing bonus. If that makes sense. And then you also get 187 from the set bonus. So you'd be healing for 1,124 per tick, or around just above 10% of your health. So you're getting 30% plus 
pearl from Lisa. Okay, so, I mean, you know, obviously not quite as good a healer as Barbara, but there are, I think this is interesting because you, not everybody has Barbara or another healer. Well, no, sorry, everyone does have Barbara, but not everyone has another healer. Like, I only have Barbara, for example. So, I think it's a, when I'm creating my two uh, Abyss teams, I can put Lisa in one of them and I can guarantee, like in my current Lisa form, a 22% heal quite often. So I can get my team topped up kind of efficiently, which is great. But it works increasingly well, like playing to the strengths here, it works increasingly well if you have an electric character as your DPS. So if you're, if you're using Beidou or Fish or Razor or whichever other electric character there is which does DPS, Lisa is going to generate energy also for that person every time she drops her wall. And the energy, the, the DPS person is going to generate energy arms for Lisa, like all the time. So, with Razor, I like to ult. I'll kill enemies for the duration of the ult, and the entire time I'm generating electric orb. And if you don't already know, the orb that you get for your team, which match the element, give you 100% efficiency. Ones that don't match give you 30% efficiency. That's why Zing Ling, if she's in my team, will charge her ultimate slower than Lisa. But Lisa will charge it at a quite quick rate. So I can alternate between Razor's ult, do the wolf form, go back to Lisa, drop the ultimate, go back to Razor and ult again. And I can keep that circle going quite efficiently. Um, it doesn't always work out that way, but I will often rotate, I will often pop up um, Zing Ling or somebody else in the meantime to maybe drop their ult or do something. But essentially, every time Razor comes onto the field, he can ult. Every time Lisa comes onto the field, she can pretty much ult, and if she can't ult, she has a fantastic skill, which is when you hold her E ability, she does the AoE attack, and that is very good at generating energy. So if you want to read that skill to see how, how that works, I'd recommend it. But yeah, um, that's, that's, that's the build, that's how it works. I hope you find it interesting. I find it very interesting to experiment. Uh, I hope you guys experiment too. Please let me know if you've got any tips to improve this further. But yeah, yeah it's current form, healing me for 22% or 23% nearly per um, ult. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So yeah, um, let, me know what you give, let me know what you thought, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.